Good morning. 24% of Americans reduced or forwent basic expenses like food and medication so they could pay an energy bill within the last year. The Fox Business survey found state-by-state -state analysis shows rates as high as 33% in Arkansas and 31% in New Mexico for this trend. Meanwhile, increased fuel prices are likely to lead to higher summer airfares as well. Now, the U.S. flight attendants say the mask mandate on planes is likely to be extended. It is set to expire on March 18th after multiple extensions already. The union notes the youngest passengers aren't eligible yet, eligible yet for vaccines. Well, the S&P 500 fell into correction territory as Russian troops entered Ukraine region. The index is down more than 10 percent from January's high. Tonics Pharmaceuticals is working on a COVID vaccine and treatment. CEO Seth Letterman says COVID is becoming endemic despite the virus being wily and able to mutate easily. I think that the, for us means that this is not something that's a, a one year effort or, you know, it's going to come and go. This is something that we're going to have to deal with as humanity, basically until the end of time. Tonic's vaccine is now in human clinical trials. And home price growth hit record last year, according to the Case-Shiller Index. It says nationwide uh, the average home price rose about 19 percent. Meanwhile, Home Depot says it expects home improvement projects to slow down this year. From the Nasdaq Market Site, I'm Jane King with your Morning Business Report.